watching CW69 News at 10. Family still grieving, so we just want to, uh, you know, just thank the, the lawyers involved. Right now on CW69 News at 10, a case making national headlines. The father of a teenage basketball player speaks out after her coaches are charged in her death. First here at 10, in a case that is getting national attention, two Clayton County coaches are facing murder charges after high school basketball player Imani Bell died during practice. Her family's attorneys say it could uh, set a precedent for how future cases like this are handled. Our Valencia Jones reports. The family of 16-year-old Imani Bell and their attorneys responded to murder charges filed against Elite Scholars Academy coaches Dwight Palmer and LaRosa Walker Esagiri. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first time in history in a case like this that murder charges have been brought against the coaches. They blame the coaches for Imani's sudden death during a basketball practice in 2019. The team was instructed to run in extremely hot weather and Bell collapsed and died. My wife his birthday was a couple of days ago. Imani's uh, uh, death day is August 13th. Clearly, this case is bigger than just the two coaches, uh, which is why we filed the civil suit. We are trying to hold the entire school accountable. They filed the civil suit earlier this year. Esagiri's attorney declined to comment on the murder charges. His response to the civil case indicates it was her first day as coach and she was counting on the direction of the athletic director. The public defender's office representing Palmer referred me to their state office, where I was unable to reach anyone for comment. Attorneys say the case could make schools around the country rethink their practicing procedures. You have coaches who want to win more then take care of these children. Family is still grieving, so we just want to, uh, you know, just thank the, the lawyers involved, Clay County involved, and just thank the love and support from all around the nation. Imani Bell's name will now stand for change in sports across this country. Clayton County Public Schools indicated it does not comment on personnel matters or pending litigation. Valencia Jones, CW69 News. Valencia, thank you.